Neho, guten tag everyone, this is United here and welcome back to another gameplay. Today we have Kyle is Famous. This is a game where I have, well I haven't even read through what this game is all about, but from what I know it's probably a guy who you simulate a life to make him, well, famous. This apparently has lots of endings, this is only the demo version, but that's okay. As long as you have the gameplay, we get a taste. Anyway, so... For what I can have the feeling that this kind of game is like The Sims. Except, it's one person's life to be famous and to a whirlwind spiral and end up at the bottom. In the slumps. Without further ado, let's begin this guy's life. Start. Kyle woke up. He is famous. Hey, congratulations! We made it back! We made it back? Kyle woke up. He is famous. Hey, we already did it! Very good! This is probably a nightmare. I can probably be thinking like, I'm famous? Oh, crap. End my life already. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's more in store. Kyle is host of the most popular talk show in the recent memory, Stay Up Late with Kyle. Oh no, oh no. He's probably gonna make a living out of this. Staying up late every night for this talk show, it's probably gonna ruin him and ruin his life. Good luck with that, Kyle. More. Stay up late with Kyle has grown in popularity quickly. Or do, can I write? No? I can change this script by just adding something in. I'll make his life even much better. Stay up late with Kyle has grown in popularity quickly in the last year and the public has noticed. They're gonna make controversies. They're gonna make theory channels. Is Kyle even that good? Is that even a good show? What are they doing? Uh, no offense, but I honestly hate those kind of channels. Videos. Inside has called Kyle a most excellent dumpy white man. What, what, what is that supposed to be? Dumpy? What is that supposed to mean? Are you trying... Hmm. Top Tech has noticed that Kyle is inspiring youth to explore STEM fields. Uh, are you letting these third party companies just get in your way and tamper with you? Don't. Don't. They ruin you. But the aim of the game? We should. Most other talk shows are dedicated to discussing Kyle and his personal details. Sure. Most online videos are best of clips taken from Kyle's latest broadcast. The eye of the world is upon Kyle. Oh shoot. Everyone's watching you man. You're gonna have a bad time. You think you're gonna live it easy? You won't. Everyone hears what you, every single thing you do. Your life is being exposed, man. How do you feel about that? Wake one little slip and already they're around in the pig pen. Tonight is Kyle's most important guest interview yet. Don't mess it up. I warn you. Say up late with Kyle will be featuring Rachel May. She is kind and lovely philanthropist. She is dear to the hearts of many. This interview requires preparation. Can, can I do something other than click more? Kyle has cracked his eyes open, knowing today that his last chance to prepare for the interview. You better work hard, man. We all need to prepare good. Remember what I said. Kyle has 30 hours left. He must choose his actions wisely. So oh, here we go. Kyle's first decision in the morning was made wisely. Would you want to wither away or exit the bed? Hmm, give me some time. I need to think of something very good. They, they did say choose wisely. <laughs> I love how it just says bed. <laughs> so, wither away or exit the bed. No. Shall we start off doing it the good way or should we just mess around already? Yeah. You know what? You know what? It's basically a, you, it's basically a thing you do here. You mess it up. Wither away it is. Kyle decided to stay put and wither away. Kyle withered successfully and died. Shucks. Kyle is now a go- This- I already killed him? 
Kyle is now a ghost, this does not relieve him of his responsibilities. Wait, so I can play while he's dead? Game changer, man. If it was game over already, this would be much more hilarious. <laughs> hey, first step, you died. Kyle exited his bed and took a quick glance around his bedroom. Open the closet, sit at the desk, exit bedroom to hallway, or scavenge. But Alright, so we got loads of options here being a ghost. Being a ghost has much more freedoms. You can go to anywhere without being caught. You don't have to do that show that ruins your life. But I am ruining it anyway. You have no way to go. Alright, I think I shall scavenge. Kyo quickly crouched down on the floor, realizing his immediate need for bugs, gossip, or back to bedroom. So, so that he's the one that's going to spread the controversy rather than the people. Bugs it is. Kyle started to pick between the fuzz of bedroom carpet, hoping to stray a beetle or two. Soon he had a small handful of various insects dead and alive. I can eat them? I like this cow guy. I'll eat them. Kyle threw back his head, crowned with the stinky wriggling mass into his mouth. He felt refreshed. Back to bedroom. How does it feel? B ghost and bad food. How can you even eat when you're a ghost? Kyle returned to the center of his bedroom. Should just Let's just sit at the desk. Kyle made his way over to his desk and sat down. Write notes for the interview, back to room, or check the desk drawer. I wonder what he has there. He opened up a side drawer of his desk and grabbed one of the items stole. Small key or assorted change. Interesting. Who knows? <coughs> you know, money is what you make of. Although he already has his money made from his show, and you say, money's the root of all evil. Small key. He grabbed the small key and kept it in his desk. Back to desk. He made his way over to the desk and sat down. Let's check it again. Should we check it again? Oh. Well, let's bring the change too. Money! <laughs> Is the root of all evil. Alright, now you can't check in the desk drawer. Let's go back to the room. We don't have time for writing desk. Open the closet. Kyle opened the closet. It was dark. He could only really see his hanging shirts. Back to bedroom. Alright, now let's exit the bedrooms of the hallway. Let's take action now. Kyle walked into the small hallway that connected the rooms of his apartment together. Check the locked door, leave apartment, move to kitchen, or return to bedroom. I wonder what's in that locked door, so let's go in. Kyle walked over to the strange door in the hallway, but found quickly that the door was locked from the inside. Force the door with his forehead? When you're a ghost, let's, let's force the door with forehead. Except how are you with, when you're a ghost? Well, you never, never underestimate. This guy is mysterious. I tell you that. Kyle decided it would be the best to try to force the door open with use of his face. Oh! After smashing his features into solid wood for several minutes, Kyle gained severe short-term amnesia. <laughs> You're a ghost, dude! Kyle walked into the small hallway that connected the rooms. Okay, we're back here. Do we want actual good food after eating? <laughs> Hold on, let's see what he... Check the pantry or open the fridge. Eat crust on fridge wall? Eat the fri- I can eat the fridge! Or prepare breakfast or eat condiments. You know, Kyle here, he's really, he's a very special guy, you know. He has special abilities. He's not like everyone else. Eat the fridge. Kyle pointed his neck directly upwards and hoisted the fridge on top of his face. Somehow, miraculously, he wrapped his mouth around the device. He started to swallow. In one slow, horrible movement, the fridge slid down Kyle's throat. After many gurgles, pops, and snaps, Kyle felt relatively sure that the fridge would not come back out. Alright. Am I- I'm late. Dot dot dot. 
Kyle hurried to the set. Per normal, he ceased to be a ghost before he arrived. Wait, I'm not I'm no longer a ghost? Hold on. Kyle, what are you exactly? I mean, surely I created this, but... Who are you? Well, anyway. I am excited to see this showtime. After everything he's done. Two bad food, amnesia, loose change, and small key. Sitting across from his host chair was a glam... Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Approach her? Rachel smiled quickly, turned to shock as she realized Kyle had not put on clothes that day. Whoops. Kyle waved and smiled broadly. Rachel uncomfortably averted her eyes. Kyle started to make his rounds around the room, greeting each crew member, none of whom looked at him directly. As it became apparent to Kyle had no intention of leaving, Rachel made some excuses and exited the set. One by one, the crew followed suit. Kyle was left alone. Kyle prepared by being a nudist. I mean, I would have thought that he would have pajamas on. I wouldn't even think he would... Okay. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. You're a very interesting man. I get it, they really expect that they forgot to put on his clothes. Should we, should we go back to... uh? Oh. Okay, yeah, um, let's give it one more try. Let's try to actually, uh... Hold on, let's uh, scavenge. Let's get the bugs. Let's eat them. Bad food. Alright, now closet now, let's uh, select. Jeans and swimming goggles, slick suit, suit of armor, skunk pack pasties. Gee. Who knows, it might be, we might be talking about swimming or slick suit or stuff. You never know um, if anything's about to hit you, so we need to come prepared. They said we have to prepare. Suit of armor. Woo! Yeah! It's legendary night all over again. Kyle was unsure of what exactly caused him to decide to wear, but he felt like it. Of course! After squeezing and sweating. Oh, dumpy. Right, then to exit the bedroom. Wait, go to the locked door. You have armor, so you can do it. Oh, never mind. No, of course, it's metal. Onto wood. So yeah, don't forget, you need amnesia. Move to the kitchen. Let's check the pantry this time. A small keyhole. Oh, did I use it? Oh. Okay, let's open the fridge. Let's eat the fridge. I want, I want the people. Oh, there's more. Visit downstairs neighbor. Let's visit the neighbor. Kyle approaches neighbor door and knocked. <laughs> Hello, don't expect anything. Not even the big fridge shape. A middle-aged woman named Gabby answered the door. Greet. Good morning, neighbor. Said Kyle cheerfully. Gabby looked at Kyle expectantly. Ask about Rachel. Gabby? Kyle asked. What are your true thoughts about Rachel May? Oh, Rachel? Gabby said. She's a wonderful woman. Her generous acts have inspired more good work than bad. Gabby trailed off, not meeting Kyle's eyes. After several uncomfortable minutes of silence, Kyle turned around and left. Alright, now let's get to the set. So, she sees the woman with genuinity. Kyle approached her. Rachel looked up and smiled. Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking at him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Kyle responded. Forget her name from Amnesia. <laughs> what? Well, I... Hello, um, you. Kyle's ears began to ring from his concussion. Rachel looked at Kyle, slightly confused but still smiling. Before she noticed the glazed look in Kyle's eyes, the producer approached. Showtime, real showtime. 
Time to get started, he said, putting a hand on Cal's shoulder. Let's get stationed. Kyle sat in the nearest chair, which was Rachel's. After a moment, Rachel hesitantly sat in the host chair. <laughs> Ooh. A moment after seating, the studio lights brightened and cameras clicked on. Let's begin. Good morning, everyone, said Kyle. My name is... Uh... This is a circus. This is a comedy show. Kyle made a desperate effort to remember his name or really anything. In that Arthur suit. Kyle looked at Rachel. Do you know who I am? Asked He asked Rachel. Rachel looked back confused. Who are you? Well, if you're not Kyle, I don't know who you are. Rachel smiled sweetly. Kyle made up his mind and pr that he was probably Kyle. <laughs> Well, um, he said, I'm Kyle. A long silence followed. Eventually, Rachel spoke again. Um, and I'm Rachel. Hi, everyone, she waved. Hi, Rachel, said Kyle. So why are we here? Rachel was visibly worried. Ha <laughs> ha, funny, she said. Weren't you planning on asking me any questions? I mean, I don't have any ideas, said Kyle. Though the amnesia, he still knows how to talk. Hmm. <laughs> Kyle kept staring at Rachel. Someone coughed. Kyle looked around and noticed the crew. Who are you? He asked. Nobody answered. I'm surprised. He managed to answer like people like Gabby, the neighbor, but not these people. He wants to forget that he was famous. He, he wants this whirlwind spiral down. Kyle got out of his chair and walked off frame, leaving Rachel alone with millions of viewers. You're doing very good, Kyle. Rachel smiled at the camera nervously. Well, she said, let me tell you some knock-knock jokes. Eventually, the producer ended the broadcast early due to technical issues. Kyle woke up in his bed the next day, remembering nothing about what happened. Kyle forgot everything. You know, you know, sometimes, Kyle, it's better for you to forget about it. I mean, was this job even better for you? I'm sorry, Kyle. <laughs> Alright, um, shall we start again? I've, maybe let's try to do everything correctly and do something good for once. So, his first decision was morning with... yeah, whatever. Let's exit the bed. Oh, oh, the, 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 don't remember! Wait, why are you not remember? Should we still go in the suit of armor? Let's go in the suit of armor, you never know. I, I, you never could go wrong with suit of armor. Let's exit the bedroom hallway. I need food. Open the fridge. The crust on the fridge. Condoms. Prepare breakfast. Coat eggs. Mmm, small food cup. Ah. Smash! Uh, let's smash. Can I smash back? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help myself. We're gonna check pantry. Oh, there's nothing. Okay. Leave apartment. Alright, should we check Gabby or should we check... What's in text score? Kaya walked to the clean white tech store. He was greeted by Techno Gym, an elaborate cut-out mascot playing soft music from a small microphone. Kyle was this, asked the store attendant whether or not they afford the free samples to important customers. The, the attendant gave Kyle a confused and slightly vacant look. The Kyle gave, began to beg for the free sample. Wanting Kyle to leave, the attendant grabbed a separate phone meant to spare parts to hell it out. Grab, a ha <laughs> grab your teeth? Working phone. Oh. Kyle took out the phone, placed it from outstretched hand, and said quietly, Thanks for your service. Kyle now has this phone to use forevermore. Good. Kyle. Oh, okay. Okay, that's all. Let's visit the neighbor. Knock, knock, knock. Hello, Gabby. Let's ask about Rachel. How do you think about Rachel May? Oh, Rachel. Generous. Good than bad. 
What's wrong with me? Gabby trailed off, not meeting. Oh boy. After several. Oh, that, oh right, that was it. All right, let's enjoy the show. Kyle hurried to the set. Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous. Okay, yes, we saw this part already. Good evening, Kyle. Kyle responded. Scream and spin in circles. Okay, now answer politely. And I was. And I as well, Rachel asked. Ah, uh, I'm Kyle now, mixed my words. And I as well, Rachel, answered Kyle, extended his hands in greeting. You are the most welcome guest. Shake hands. After another mild exchange of pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel were prompted to take their places for the broadcast. It's time for show. All I have is a f broken phone. Well, working phone. And an armor. Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking to the camera. Welcome to the Stay Up Late with Kyle. Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. Kyle motioned to Rachel, who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello, Kyle, she said. I'm glad to be here. In response, Kyle collapsed to the floor. On the floor. On the floor. From a combination of stressful preparation and not eating anything, Kyle had passed out. Nobody in the studio quite knew what to do with him. They began to poke Kyle in the back to see if he moved. After a while, they ended the broadcast, shut off the lights and went home. Kyle was left face first on the floor. Kyle prepared by starving himself? Oh, I shouldn't have smashed that breakfast. <laughs> Oh no, I'm sorry Kyle, I'm sorry. All of my actions led to failure. I became nude. I forgot everything from amnesia. And I starved to death. Poor Kyle. Even though I was the one that led him to this. This. Anyway, I think we should leave it this moment. I apologize to Kyle with all my F keys for respects. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see me do more of these endings, then leave a like comment below. Unless if you have any other game to suggest, you can also leave it in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, I'll be the Zane, Joy Gain, peace. Good luck next time, Carl.